Hey. Yeah. The bass is here. See, we have to share the bass. It's one bass. And now he, he. So now the jazz band is going to rehearse because we rehearse too. We have to be organized as well, believe it or not, even though it's just jazz. Oh. I love going to Mexico for the Northern Lights Festival. This will be my third time. Ajic is a beautiful little town about an hour south of Guadalajara. This was a highlight of their year. They wanted to bring some really great music to their, their small town and, uh, and they're there to support it and fully appreciate it, which is great. Everyone gets behind it. One year, one of the classical musicians f took ill, so uh, one of the, uh, the other musicians, Drew Jiraka, put on a little jazz concert. And since then, they've, they've had a jazz component to the festival because they liked it so much. This year I'm leading the jazz quartet. Usually I'm just a member of the quartet, so that's kind of an exciting challenge. But it's a, it's a wonderful festival and a wonderful spot. It's a great band with Nathan Hiltz on guitar, Artie Roth on bass, and Daniel Barnes on drums, so I'm really, really comfortable with them. They're really great players. What are you doing? Warming up my muscles, warm-ups. You know, playing an instrument's very physical. Gotta warm stuff up. Is this your first time here? No, it's my third time. Third time here. And what do you think of it? Oh, it's, uh, it's an incredible gem of, uh, of an experience. It's always beauty to come here. It's great to play with the guys, the jazz guys. It's great to listen to the chamber concerts. And it's great to be in a sunny, quaint town in the Southern Hemisphere, because <laughs> I'm from Toronto, where it's gray and cold. So for us, jazz musicians who play in clubs and sometimes concerts, this is a dream, folks. This is a real dream. And for those string players who are reading the charts written by the jazz players, this is a nightmare, folks. This is a real nightmare. One of the things that we hope to do is to have a string quartet perform with us at our auditorio show. We've done that in the past. It's really fun you know, to try and arrange some of our own music uh, to be played with string quartet, so that's an exciting challenge. The, the main component to jazz, of course, is improvisation, and something that I look forward to and something that, that I do, but I'm, I'm always so amazed that there's some, some of the classical folks at this, at this festival, it looks like they're improvising. They're putting that much heart and soul into it. It's not like something they've, they've memorized and, 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 and learned. It, it really feels like the, the music is coming out of them, and that's why I really, I really admire them at this festival. They really add so much, so much that way. So it's it's an interesting meeting of the two worlds. It's a challenge because we approach music differently. The the string players aren't used to swinging like we are in, in that certain kind of jazz time feel. So you have to. I found that you really have to write things in the right way for them to, to bring the most to it. And then it's a challenge for us to you know adjust our volume and 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 play with them. So it, it's always interesting, exciting, and. I was really happy with the results. You know, hanging out with all these different musicians and hearing stories and, and uh, you know, exchanging ideas and being in that atmosphere with lots of great musicians is really fun. One of the similarities between jazz and classical musicians is we both uh, practice a lot, we both perform, you know, the musicians we perform a lot, we get a thrill from performing. We get it, you know, and in many ways it's similar because we're often interpreting the jazz classics just as as uh, the classical musicians are interpreting the, the, the classical repertoire. The real main difference is the written music for us is just a launching off point for the improvisation, which is the real meat of the music for us. In the classical world, the written music is more the, the, the total foundation of the music. To me, I find it's probably more difficult because you really have to work hard to interpret that and bring something of your own into it. Whereas for us, it's just natural, we're improvising and that's, that's part of who we are and, and we get that thrill that way. So at the end we do do bo 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 b